Today I'd like to show you a new feature in GP2016. Now we're going to take advantage of using a feature that's been out there since GP began, and that's paying a vendor invoice by credit card. So let's go ahead and start that process now. I am in purchasing and I'm gonna go ahead and go to transaction entry and begin doing an invoice. And we'll date this invoice uh, May 1st, why not? And let's choose a vendor. And I'm gonna choose the vendor attractive telephone. And we'll put in an invoice number and we'll put in a purchase amount. So I'm gonna put in $1,300.17. So that's the amount of the invoice. And I'm gonna come through and pay it with a credit card. Now this feature's been out here a while. And once you put it in and ask you which credit card, I'm gonna choose America Charge. And because I could see that this is a drill, down, drill downable link here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And you can see how the credit card is set up. So this particular one is used by company. That's why I could use it in payables. And it's set up as a credit card. So it has a link to a vendor. So when I pay attractive telephone, this invoice, it's going to generate a new invoice for this particular vendor, which is, Da, 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 America charge. So let's go ahead and finish out this process. So I've got this selected. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. If I look at distributions, I'll see that for the cash line, it's actually referencing accounts payable. And it's gonna be able to keep track of that because it's not really paying, it's paying one invoice, but it's gonna create another invoice for that America charge invoice. So I'm gonna, our vendor. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on post and we'll close that out. Great, so let's go to inquiry, expand that, and let's start, I'm gonna put in the document date, May 1st, so we don't look at all of them. Let's start by going to attractive telephone. And when I go here, you could see the invoice and see the payment. So I'm gonna drill down on the invoice, and you can see the invoice is all here, has the total payments, and I can see this is voucher number 513, and again for attractive telephone. So now let's look at the vendor America charge. When I look here, I have this open invoice and you can see the document type is a credit card there. And I could see it's referencing in the description, attractive telephone, and it has the voucher number 513. Now this is the new feature, the fact that it will actually reference the vendor and the voucher number right on this credit card payment. So that's something that's incredibly helpful and not something we had before. The cool thing is if we use the reconcile to GL feature in the general ledger, it's going to also reference that there as well. So we would be able to know that that particular, the invoice for America charge is linked to the invoice for attractive telephone. So the America charge invoice is open and if we go to attractive telephone, whoops, there it is. I have the invoice in the payment, so that is in history. So that's how we can utilize this new feature, and I hope this helps.